Okay, so we're here at 500 Startups in Mountain View for their demo day, and we're with Courtney Powell, and she is the CEO and co-founder of Public Demand. And uh, Courtney, you're doing big things here, so can you tell us about Public Demand? Yes, we are helping consumers to share their stories when they have a complaint with a big company, and they connect with other people who have the same problem on our site, and they use the power of the public voice to either get a resolution or an exclusive offer to switch products or services. That's very interesting. How do you, um, you know, balance that between like having um, people that, that you actually serve, like corporations that you serve for their services, and then like if somebody is not happy with that service? Well, we serve people first and foremost, and so that's our customer. And in order for um, our a system like us to work, mm -hmm. we make sure that whenever we're dealing with corporations, we're always very upfront with our consumers in terms of what it is that we're doing and what problems we're solving and any sort of offer that we would bring to them. So it's completely in their hands to decide, you know, who brings them an offer or not or anything like that. So we're always working on behalf of the consumer and trying to really amplify their voice and get their problems solved. And it's interesting because that's like a big, um, you know, a, a, you're obviously a big supporter of transparency. So um, what other ways do you see like connecting people to each other when they're really like, you know, kind of distraught about a product or a service? Um, is there a lot of like customer service that goes around with that? Yeah, I mean, so we had an interesting case this week. Um, we had a lady who had, was upset with Bank of America for um, a policy that, that they had, enact, had enacted. So she came to our site, she started a demand. Um, she shared it with her social groups and it began to gain some traction. And so we then push it out in our weekly newsletter to the rest of our user base, letting them know about this particular issue. And within a couple of days, Bank of America had called her up and said, look, we saw this demand is rising. What can we do to help you? So that's a combination of both the community support and then also the company being willing to take notice and actually fix the problem. Wow. And so how did you come up with this idea? Yes, so um, I was working on my previous startup, which was an enterprise lead gen called Lead Seed, and I was moving offices um, from my home office to my downtown office. And I called up Time Warner Cable to get my infrastructure set up, and they said that I had um, an internet modem from three years previously, and they auto debited $900 from my account to pay for the modem that I didn't have. It took me three months to get them to give me the money back, and it was just the most frustrating experience. And Some people don't even have that money. Right. I mean, it, exactly. That's a, That's a lot of money. Yeah. And so I just began thinking, like, what is it that I can do to prevent this from happening to other people and for me to have a recourse if it ever happens again? And so um, I jumped on a flight one time from Austin to Chicago, and I was on United, terrible customer service experience. And I was like, OK, that's it. I've had it. And I started sketching out public demand right there on the plane. And what is your background? Um, well, I joined my first startup in Austin um, in college. And it was a promotional products technology place. It was pretty interesting. But we went from 0 to $50 million very quickly. And so I stayed there for five years. And then I went on to start um, a marketing automation company. Uh, or a consulting company called Lead Seed, and I stayed with that for three years and um, just was really focused on enterprise and, and lead generation and, and customer service and all those different aspects. And so when this came along, it was just a really interesting combination of the skills that I had used previously and found a great team. I mean, I have the best team literally in the entire world, and um, we've been working together. We live together, and we're <laughs> building our product together. So, How long did it take for you to um, build your platform and then um, get the investments? Yep, so we launched our first product, I guess it was in March, mm -hmm. And um, we really began to see some uh, pretty immediate traction at that point. We moved out here to Silicon Valley in April. Um, we closed up our round in about six weeks. So it, it all moved very, very quickly. And now we're working on the next iteration of our product. So you're out of Austin. You're um, here in Silicon Valley. That's right. Yep. What do you say about the Austin um, startup uh, community over there? It's incredible. I mean, it really is a thriving place. It's a great place, certainly, to do any sort of B2B um, business. But, you know, there's, there's companies there. Capital Factory is just doing a wonderful job of really helping entrepreneurs out there to get their ideas off the ground. So I'm super proud to be from Austin. And I am definitely a Texas girl at heart. <laughs> awesome, girl. Well, we are rooting for you. So congratulations. You. And um, if people want to know more about public demand, where should they go? Um, publicdemand.com, public with a K. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at, at publicdemand or always reach me at Courtney at publicdemand.com. Awesome. Well, good luck, Courtney. Thank you. Thanks.